If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Little House on the Road subscribers and followers. So, I'm going to start trying to do some of these top five things. I think I'm going to do it weekly. Uh, maybe on Fridays? Top five Fridays or something silly like that? I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Um, but today I want to talk about five ways to take a shower. And I have notes. So I'll be looking at them. Five ways to take a shower when you live in a pop-up camper. See, I needed notes. Um, when it's warm out, and like we've been doing for the last several weeks, uh, number one, you can use a shower tent. I like the shower tent. It's, uh, there's a lot of advantages to it. I can hook it up right to my water. I can use my own heated water. Um, and I just consider it one of my chores. Obviously, the disadvantage is it's a shower tent. It's cramped, it's small. Um, if you don't keep it closed up, bugs get into it. So there's, in my opinion, it's rustic. I like rustic, so I like it. I can understand why others wouldn't like it, but it's there uh, when you're out in the remote locations and it's warm. Number two, you can use a camp shower, and I have a picture. Camp showers are nice. Um, at the, they usually have the paid sites. I have heard of one, and it's down in Texas, and I intend to go look at it. And uh, it's on a beach, um, so I'm going to go there one of these days. Uh, I don't have it off the top of my head, but I'll put the location right here. Um, and I can't really think of any disadvantages. Uh, I'm sure there's some, but most of them, uh, you know, very nice. They're clean. Um, number three, inside the pop-up. Now, I have, uh, we have a hula hoop that we've designed for our old pop-up. Uh, maybe newer ones, the bigger pop-ups, you got more room, you may be able to do some things. But um, in, in, in our pop-up, we used a hula hoop and a, and a shower curtain. And it worked okay. It was, it worked okay. It was uh, nice on the colder days, we could use it when it was cold. And uh, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy was, uh, kept us warm in there. Kept the water in the hose warm. Um, the, the disadvantage was, it was tight, cramped, small, no room to move. I mean, there was no room to move. The shower curtain kept sticking to you. Terrible. But when it's cold and you're out in a remote location and that's all you got, it, it did all right. Number four, truck stop. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of advantages to it, and I'm sure a lot of truck drivers use it. Um, and I actually have heard of pop-up, or uh, excuse me, campers using it. Um, the thing about it is, is it does charge money. I, they're very clean. They clean them after every uh, use, uh, but they do cost, and the, and the price does vary. And number five, when you're mooch docking, and if you don't know what mooch docking is, that's when you're parked in somebody's driveway, family or friend, um, and you, you're bumming their electric, you're bumming their water, uh, you can bum their shower too, and. The advantages are, it's a normal shower in a normal house. Uh, I have a picture. And it's, you know, it's all the amenities that you would have in a stick and brick. The disadvantage, you're using somebody else's shower. I, I feel uncomfortable using other people's bathrooms, much less their shower. Um, so if you can get over that and you're okay with that, then I guess that's fine. But uh, uh, so that was the top five, and uh, I'm going to start trying, like I said, I'm going to start trying to do this more often, and uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe! Click like if you liked the video, and happy travels!